Vegan stuff, everyone! It's Kona. I'm back at the vet again. I'll kill you! I'll kill you both! Poor Kona. That's it! Who did you die? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! was much like those other times. I knew I had to walk like a stealthy ninja if I wanted to make it out alive. It started out the same way it does every time. The calm before the storm. I knew I might just be able to make it out unscathed this time if I found a good hiding spot. Yep, a kitty cat way station. They use these to determine how many reinforcements to bring against me. I noticed someone in this torture chamber that looked just like me. If I could only find a good hiding spot before them, maybe I could dupe them into taking my place or something, you know, like a, like a torture double, torture doppelganger. But this cat was just like me, wily and svelte, a tiny little temptress with an amazing body. How could I subject anyone to such, oh, see you later, sucker. Back to trying to find my hiding spot. Nope, nope, too obvious. Spatula! They entered the room. I became more and more desperate to try and find an inconspicuous hiding spot. But to no anvil, they were onto me. It all started out just like I said it would, on the kitty cat way station. The first two-legged monster viciously grabbed me and salted my ears. I played it off cool and slinked away. I became more and more desperate, looking for an escape hatch or some weakness in this torture fortress. But to no anvil, one of the torture fortress goons caught me and began to implement the torture session with fake affection, trying to calm my racing heart. But I knew what they were up to, and I was gonna make sure they got what was coming to them. First they put this thing in my ur, trying to mind control me. But I wiggled myself out of that hot mess. Get off me! They tried to keep mind controlling me by sticking fluff puffs in my ur. But I wasn't having any of it. These rookies didn't know they were dealing with Mrs. Fluffy Tornado, Mrs. Houdini Cat. You really are a Houdini kitty cat. They briefly left the room and I jumped on stuff, tried to break open the carrier, but they poked me, prodded me, and checked me for fleas. I tried to break back in, but I couldn't find a weakness into my carrier. They came back and kept putting fluff puffs in my ur. I flipped it out! Mm. Kill you! Help! Help! They tried to hold me like a kangamaroo as they stuck stuff in me. She had a pretty rough weekend. Yep. Oh. Profanity! Kill you! You too! Sick my line on you! Mm. Mother! Help me! Do it now! I desperately tried to flick that stuff out my ears, that mind control juice, and get back in my career. But to no anvil, there was no succeed. No kidding, you like to what to do. Little did they know I had a surprise for them. Just when the time was right, and here it comes. What if I hold you again? Yeah, she, she really doesn't hold you. Like that. Yeah. Look. Look how happy Quite happy oh, indeed! New cat. Wow. This is what we should be doing at home. And then it happened. Oh, oh. oh. see so you happy. Oh. Don't you really get that nervous? Oh, sure peed real good on that vet tech. She had it coming to her all day. She didn't know she was going out. She didn't pee before. Oh, she did? I guess. I don't know. 
These are the moments in life that I really cherish, you know? I'm gonna treasure this memory for a while. She is so pretty. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Okay, you did good. Oh and boy. You can run away. Paid on the vet tech and it was really awesome. She really deserved it and it came from my bottom. It's all these people that love me. They're the patrons, you know. You shall watch more stuff. And MJ Show Sponsor is the sponsor of this show.